taking the same spirit back in time to a limbo period between the wars and before the Depression, between the prequel limited series 1883 and Kevin Costner's gruff modern father. Sheridan's most illustrious Yellowstone prequel, 1923, continues the same ethos. Epic sensibilities are present right away. The voiceover of Elsa Dutton, the fiery pioneer daughter of the Dutton ancestors John and Margaret played by the country music icons Tim McGraw and Faith Hill in 1883, declares, violence has always haunted this family. She comes right after Cara Dutton Helen Mirren, who just killed an unnamed man by winning a reloading battle. As another unnamed man narrowly avoids a lion's pounce, the narration states, and where it doesn't follow, we hunt it down, we seek it. Enter the weathered face of Jacob Dutton Harrison Ford, in his first significant TV role at the age of 80, his cowboy hat crawling with locusts and a twitching frown framed by canyon deep lines. On top of his horse, he surveys a field littered with dead cattle and inundated with flies. Overgrazing, drought, and pestilence already herald the coming of the Dust Bowl. After his brother John passed away, Jacob moved to Montana and established an empire, as Elsa relates in a clumsy but informative voiceover. It's already falling apart a century before Costner's political intrigues in Yellowstone during the Twilight Era. Here is all the information you need to know about 1923 Episode 1 if you want to catch up on the episode's events. Cara Ditton kills a mysterious man who is evading her in the wilderness in the opening scene of the series premiere, 1923. According to Elsa Dutton's narration, Margaret Dutton passed away a year after losing her husband James Dutton. In order to raise the couple's children, John Dutton Sr. and Spencer Dutton, James' brother, Jacob Dutton Harrison Ford, and his wife, Cara Dutton Helen Mirren, moved to Montana. The couple assisted in expanding the Yellowstone Dutton Ranch, but they are now dealing with a myriad of issues as a result of the socio-economic unrest in the country. Spencer Dutton, the younger son of James Dutton, kills a lion that was causing trouble in the neighborhood while working as a hired hunter in Africa. He had PTSD and had fought in the army during the First World War. As a result of a locust swap, family patriarch and livestock commissioner Jacob Dutton Lowe's is a herd of cattle. Banner Creighton, a local sheep tender whose cattle were murdered by one of the ranchers, has filed a complaint at the town hall, and Jacob is in charge of handling it. Jacob, however, charges Banner with grazing his cattle on someone else's land. Banner claims that the drought has left their herd without any pastures to graze on. Nevertheless, Jacob condemns Banner, which sparks a conflict between the two outside the hall. Later, Jacob joins the other Montana bureaucrats for a meeting where they devise a plan to survive the drought. Jack Dutton, John's son, is getting ready to wed Elizabeth Strafford, a young woman from a ranching family, at the Yellowstone Ranch. However, Jack chooses to put off the wedding after Jacob arrives home and says that he will be herding the cattle up the mountains to survive the summer. Elizabeth gets discouraged by Jack's choices and behaves rudely, but after hearing some motivation from Kara, she changes her mind. A teenage girl named Tiana suffers abuse at the hands of Sister Mary and Father Renault at a Catholic boarding school for Native Americans in another location. Jack and his father and granduncle get ready for the cattle drive after making amends with Elizabeth. The ranchers intend to transport the cattle back in the final two days of their journey after pushing them up the mountains for three days, holding them there for a few days, and traveling there. The Dutton men say goodbye to their family and depart for the drive through the pastures. Banner, on the other hand, grazes his sheep in the Dutton's pastures while planning to sabotage them in secret. But Jack finds out about the betrayal. Before Jack can tell Jacob and John the news, a cloaked stranger shoots at him. Spencer embarks on a new task that takes him to a safari resort in Africa. He does, however, have a PTSD episode on the train. Later, Spencer runs into a British woman and her newly arrived husband in Africa. Spencer says he's in the camp to catch a leopard that's consuming tourists. Spencer sets up a goat-based trap for the leopard with the assistance of his crew but he thinks the animal might be looking for a greater challenge. Kara completes her tasks while worrying about Spencer. As Spencer gets ready to kill the leopard, she drafts a letter for him. Spencer travels across Africa in the closing section of the episode to deal with a leopard that is harassing a safari camp. As the Dutton men depart for a week-long excursion, Kara is compelled to confront her feelings. 
Despite the absence of Jacob, John, and Jack from the house, Kara misses Spencer the most. She consequently addresses a letter to Spencer. She inquires about Spencer's health and worries if he'll go back to his family. Spencer prepares a trap for the leopard in Africa in the meantime. Spencer is introduced in the episode as a man who is burdened by his military experiences. They do, however, also make him a skilled hunter. Spencer kills a lion earlier in the episode, but not before nearly losing his life. Spencer finally constructs a similar trap to capture the leopard. Spencer's team cautions him, nevertheless, that a leopard is a considerably more intelligent predator than a lion. Spencer keeps vigil at night, watching for the leopard to pounce and eat the bait. But close to the camp, the leopard strikes the British woman. While watching the animal in the distance consume its food, Spencer waits for the ideal opportunity to kill it. Another leopard eats the bait in the meantime. When Spencer's crew hears something, they quickly alert him. Spencer, however, previously killed the leopard that he considered to be the threat. Spencer is attacked by the second leopard before he can leave the area. Without disclosing Spencer's destiny, the episode comes to a conclusion. Additionally, Kara's tearful letter to Spencer and plea for him to return home suggests that a tragedy is about to befall James Dutton's youngest son. Spencer probably won't die so early in the series, but his terrible experiences in Africa may open the door for his eventual return to the Yellowstone Ranch. However, viewers will need to continue watching to learn Spencer's fate in detail.